Sean, you've set high standards with this team. How, you, how do you sum up tonight? Well, obviously, we're very disappointed the way we played, even with 14 players. But we're playing against, you know, team ranked number two in the world. And we just couldn't get any turnovers at the, at the breakdown. I thought the rook speed was absolutely unbelievable. Um, and they, they, they only lost four balls the whole game. You know, that, whether that be handling errors or line outs, uh, it's just total turnovers was four. It was just absolutely incredible. The performance from the Irish team, I thought it was fantastic. But we should have been more active in that area, trying to create the turnovers. It doesn't help when you're down to 14 men for 50 minutes. Was that unlucky for Paul Velemza or avoidable? We, we was, well, yeah, 10 minutes before that as well, don't forget. So um, it's just this part of modern day rugby. I mean, I haven't seen the incident in detail, so I, don't, I wouldn't want to comment about it. Uh, but, you know, I was disappointed in some of the defence in the first half. We improved a bit in the second half, but we just couldn't stop them all because, you know, Paul Williamson is vital in stopping them all because, you know, he's second row forward. Is that the best Ireland team you've faced? The best performance you've been on the end of? Well, Ireland were ranked number one in the world for a lot of last season. And, uh, you know, unfortunately, they were quite unlucky to lose against New Zealand in the quarter final. And uh, a little bit, you know, uh, so it doesn't surprise me that when you're down to 14, and, you know, we, we lost 14 balls in, in total and, and they lost four. It doesn't really surprise me that you, you're going to lose because they're just, a, you know, they're a world-class team. You know, if, um, if it was the other way around and, and we had 15 and they had 14, obviously I'd expect to win. Sean, thank you very much. OK.